of mathematics today we're doing an o levels question so this is a very tricky question that came in june 2017 this was related to ratios so let's have a quick look at the question before we start with the solution so you guys can pause the video watch the question and try to solve it before you see the solution so let's start uh, so the question is uh, telling us that there is a person trevor who has a sum twice and to there are a total of 54 twice out of which he has three different categories of toys uh, there are cars vans and trucks at the beginning so he has 24 cars he has 12 vans and the rest of them are trucks so it's very simple uh, to find the number of trucks what you're going to do is you're going to subtract uh, 24 and 12 out of 54 and you guys will be left with I think 18 trucks over here so there are 18 trucks over here now the next thing they've asked us is to simplify this as a ratio so if I write 24 ratio 12 ratio 18 now to simplify a ratio you have to divide uh, this ratio by a number which is uh, divisible on all three of them and if we can see uh, all of them are divisible with six so I'm going to divide all of them with six and we can get a simplified ratio out of this 25 over 6 would be 4 ratio 2 ratio 3 so this is the simplified version of this ratio so this was the first part this was easier part uh, now let's move on to the trickier part of this question and uh, it says that Trevor is planning to reduce his collection and he's going to sell some of the toys and he wants to sell them in such a way that there are two conditions that must be followed first of all he is going to sell at least one out of each of these three so uh, we have to make sure that all of them will be affected number one number two then the final ratio he has is the final ratio that we want is two ratio two ratio one so this is the ratio that he needs at the end and there are two restrictions number one is that you must sell at least one out of all three categories number two is that uh, final ratio is this and number three is that you have to keep the minimum number of toys that he will have remaining at the end now to understand this question first of all let's have a look at the final ratio the final ratio is telling us that he will have equal number of cars vans and he will have half number of cars and vans as trucks so he will have equal number of cars and vans and whatever he's having for cars and vans he'll have half of them as trucks now this is going to give us a nice insight to this idea so first of all let's have a look at number of vans that we have because those are the least number of things so if we have to sell at least one van i will have 11 over here 11 over here because we know that we are going to have um, at least one car is sold at least one van is sold so if one van is sold we will have 11 vans and because my final ratio tells me that vans and cars are going to be same i will have 11 over here and half of them half of this number should be here as trucks and now we see there is a problem that we will encounter 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 and you cannot have 5.5 trucks as toys so that is why this variation is wrong so because we cannot have decimal amount of trucks now let's move uh, this number once more down so instead of 12 uh, to 11 vans let's sell two of the vans and this number will become 10. if this number becomes 10 this number uh, cars will also be 10 and half of them would be here uh, as trucks so 10 half would give us 5 so this is a ratio which is going to give us 2 ratio 2 ratio 1 because if we simplify this this would give us 2 ratio 2 ratio 1 so that means he has remaining 10 cars 10 vans and 5 trucks 10 cars 10 vans and five trucks 
Now, the answer for C, V, and T was basically the number of things that he has sold. So, number of cars the ha that he has sold is 24 minus 10. So, 24 minus 10. He has sold 14, ca 14 cars. V was representing the number of vans he has to sell. So, he had 12 vans. Now, he has 10 vans. So, 12 minus 10. He has 2 vans to be sold. And for number of trucks, the value of T is 18 minus, now he has 5 left, so that is 13. So these are the number of twice that he has to sell to get to attain this ratio, and this is the smallest ratio that he will have. And this was the final answer to this problem. Many students were having the trouble because they were trying to solve this question. Uh, unfortunately, this question could not be done by like, you know, doing actual calculation it would go very lengthy if you're trying to do that. It had to be done intuitively and you had to think in terms of ratios and you had to think in terms of uh, putting hypothetical values till you get the final answer. I hope you understand this video and if you like this video, do share it with your friends who might not know the solution of this question. If you have any other questions which you need, uh, which you want me to answer them in this format, do let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.